Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Rahman and welcome to this different kind of tutorial which is intended for the photographers and cinematographers out there who want to, who want to take full advantage and unlock the full potential of their DSLR cameras. Okay, so this video is intended for the for the owners of Canon uh, 700D, which is the European name, and Rebel T5i, which is the US name. Okay, so if you have this kind of model of your camera, uh, and you don't know how to install the Magic Lantern, I'll, I'll be sure to, uh, to help you to install it su successfully in this uh, tutorial. So the first thing before we sorry before we start, uh, I I have to warn you that once you install Magic Lantern, you will avoid the warranty that comes with Canon. In my case, uh, my camera is old. I bought it a long time ago, so the warranty has already expired. So it doesn't make any difference with me. Okay, now that we get this out of the way, let us get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you have the the firmware version 1.1.5 all right if you if you don't know what firmware version you have it's easy you will need to switch your camera to the p mode and then and then go uh, uh, go to the settings and from there you can check the firmware version in my case i already have uh, 0.5 installed if you if you have a ver version older than that then uh, you will need to install 1.5 and it's pretty simple and easy so the first thing you need to do is you need to to uh, format the sd card first so you click on format card and then make sure guys you select the low level format which will you know format the card completely uh, all right once formatting is done, you will need to remove the SD card from the card slot, and you can use any you know any card you want, thirty two gigs or sixty four gigs, it doesn't matter. And then you will insert it into your computer using the SD card reader. Once you do that, you you have uh, you, you need to make sure that you uh, downloaded the Magic Lantern file from their from their website and the firmware uh, file from a uh, Canon website. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is that we will extract the T5i uh, version of the, uh, the, 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 fi the, the 0.5 firmware update and you will need to copy it to the SD card. Once you're finished with the copying, you will need to insert the, the, the card again into the camera and uh, and click on the firmware version again and it will ask you do you want to update it you will press okay i canceled it because i already installed it so you will press okay once you press okay it will ask you uh, a, a, a screen will pop up all right and it will show you the, the the file that you recently copied from your pc just click on that file and press okay it will ask you are you sure that you want to go from this version to that version you will say yes again, and then the installation will take about probably two minutes, three minutes at most, and then your camera will be updated to the latest uh, edition, sorry, to the, to the 0.5 uh, version, okay? Once you're, you're finished with, uh, with the, uh, updating the camera, you will need to format the camera again. You will need to format it because uh, we we still need to install the magic lantern in in the SD card. We didn't do that. We only copied the the firmware uh, files, not the magic lantern files. You may ask me why I didn't just copy them both at the first place. Well, I'll tell you no, and this is a mistake. And don't do that because the magic lantern uh, file it all it already has this. Uh, they already have their own. Uh, this .fir uh, format file, they already have it. So the, the, the firmware also has this .fir format and the Magic Lantern have their own do, uh, .fir format. So once you install, uh, uh, copy these two together uh, in, the, in the SD card, uh, there will be conflict between them because Canon will not be able to distinguish which one we need to install. 
So that's why we only need to, uh, to have only one uh, .fir uh, format file, only one. So in, in, in our case, we only need to have uh, first the firmware uh, file first. After finishing, after finishing installing the firmware file, we'll, uh, then we format the camera again, the lower level format, and then we insert it into our PC and we copy the, uh, the, 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 the Magic Lantern files, which is the ML file and the auto exec file and the ML uh, setup.fir. All right, you will need to copy these three files to, uh, to, the, to the SD card. All right, once you do that, make sure that you press on your PC uh, uh, to safely remove the SD card. If you have that option, make sure you click that. Uh, and then you will need to install uh, the, the SD card again inside the, the, the card slot in your camera and do the same step. You need to go to settings and firmware version and you will need to update it again. Don't worry, it will not overwrite the current firm. Uh, for, uh, firmware version it will remain at as, uh, as it is which is 0.5 it will only install the magic lantern and once you do that the a screen uh, will show up similar like this uh, it will tell you indicate that the installation process was successful please restart your uh, camera and uh, yeah that's it you just re just you need to restart your camera once you turn it on again the magic lantern will be installed and all the features of your camera will be unlocked. So, uh, yep, that's it, guys.